Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and today we're going to continue playing as the Russian SFSR. Now, uh, someone left a comment concerning uh, the technology that we've been taking from the Germans and if you have no idea what I'm meaning or what I'm talking about, don't worry. So, right now I'm taking a look at our support companies and we've been at war with the Germans for a while and I'm going to insert into my campaign right now a little story. So because we took out Königsberg and we've raided Königsberg of its wealth and its technology, we want to discover the magic tricks that are known as rocket artillery instead of anti-air. Hmm. So I'm researching anti-air, and I love anti-air, but someone recommended we might need to show a couple people, specifically Italians and Germans, but really the Germans. How good it is to get blown up by rocket artillery. So, I will institute now a decree by Trotsky that to ensure the permanence of a revolution, the permanence of a permanent revolution, we must have rocket artillery support trucks within all of our divisions. I have made that decree, and let's continue on anyways. So, we're on two-front war. 308 factories. Japan is not doing so great. I don't exactly remember how exactly I got to war with Japan, but regardless, we're there, and odds are I'm probably not going to invade Japan because our fleet, well, it's not really that great. Yeah, that's okay. All right, I'll just go ahead and shove them all into one fleet. Let's see, we've got a level 2 battleship, which isn't bad. I've actually made that sure that this one was actually not terrible. Uh, let's see, this can definitely go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemy ships. But, I mean, its guns aren't bad. It's got, you know, adequate anti-air. It has pretty good catapult system. It has only level 1 radar, which isn't terrible, but could be worse. Could be better. Level 2 engine, which isn't great. Uh, secondaries are okay, and armor is okay. Not great, but that's why we're doing level 3 stuff. Look at all these destroyers. They all suck, except for maybe some of these. Moskva subs. These subs suck, too. But whatever. Um... So yeah, basically, by the end of this war, it looks like the German offensive is pretty much over. Well, time to counterattack. But basically, at the end of this war, my goal is to puppet. I will create a massive eastern block of puppets. Uh, I'm, in my own head, debating whether I should annex the Baltic states or not yet. I think I'm going to wait a little bit first, because we want to create a utopia. A classless utopia that does not have pri private property or any sort of material wealth that can be exploited against the proletariat. So with that in mind, I think we still need a couple more, a few more years at least, to ensure that everyone within the Baltics are fully integrated with believing in a utopia that we want. So it'll take a couple years before I actually annex them. Uh, but my goal, like I said before, is to eventually annex countries that I feel that have been fully educated or re-educated and can be integrated into our glorious, eventual, stateless, classless society. But if we have to have a state, it'll be the Russian SFSR. So, same thing with Manchuko. I'm going to actually probably puppet them and then eventually annex them as well. That's really my goal. An puppet and then annex. I'll do the same thing with Iran because it looks disgusting, the name is bad. But, you know, I also will puppet Afghanistan, a good chunk of Turkey while annexing some of the lands, because why not? Bulgaria will definitely be a prime candidate for annexations, and stuff like that. I can't remember if there's any more comments that I need to address. Uh, some guys, he apparently might be 11 years old, or he's only 11. Cool, if you are, great. If you're not, great. Um, but if you really are 11, that's totally cool. I might want to tone down some of my... Uh, We'll call it rhetoric at times. But anyways, I'm here to have a good time, despite everything else in the world. So, hmm. Wait, how many divisions does Germany have down here? Eight divisions. If we attack over a river, that sounds like an absolutely terrible idea, so we're not. But, what else can we do? This has 12. Yeah, I, I really wanted to attack. Uh, Romania, Romania, why must you do this to me? How many divisions? That's not enough. You come this way instead this time. Cool. That might be enough to break through these guys. Great. Uh, planes. Let's take a quick, quick look at planes here. Do we... Are we making any wings of planes? 
planes, wing fighters, fighters. We have fighters. What am I building? One thing of military factories, one thing of civilian factories, one thing of r r refineries. <clears throat> huh. Huh. Let's do that. I don't mind building infrastructure, but I gotta really make sure that we got enough aluminum and rubber. What are we currently on? We are on export focus. I probably want to go with limited exports. We need more resources. Or I could just make them since we're using the Road to 56 mod. Hmm. Recruit women pilots. I don't remember that. I have to be on total mobilization and have women in the workforce. Huh, I get two flying aces. Well, I mean, I really don't even have that many planes to begin with. So, I don't know about that. Besides, we need someone to work in the factories, don't we? I mean, if we literally put almost all of our men on the front lines. I mean, we can have children work. I mean, I'm fine with that. Child labor seems like a fun thing to do, right? Oh, actually, this tank... Oh, the tanks are doing so much better than before. Uh, let's see, it's hardness is 52%, and that's lacking about 200-ish tanks. So we'll be really hard when we get the rest of those tanks. Hmm, tanky boys. Cool. Uh, oh yeah, Korea's pretty much split up at this point. Can we take, can we just finish off Korea now? Because that'd be disgusting if we could do that. Just go ahead and do that, just take them all out, you know, have a good time with Koreans. Liberate, we're here to liberate, we're not here to invade and a puppet, but we're here to liberate, yeah. You're already on a balanced, a balanced maneuver to attack. I'll do that anyways, because why not. Uh, ooh, upgrades? Yes, please. And we just researched something. Passive sonar. Great. We're doing... That, which is good. Snorkels. We want better destroyers. It's 1943. Happy 1943, which means I must immediately switch to industry and make sure I can produce enough goods. Anti-air is okay. Anti-tank is okay. Ooh. Uh, Anti-tank. Tank? I think we're okay without any anti-tank. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're okay with that. That. Medium bombers. Light tanks. Do that, do that, do that. Oh, yeah, get rid of those Great War tanks. Get rid of this so I don't have to be pressured to use fighters. Ah, uh, so good. Ooh. Oh, we have another research slot. Um, well then. Production efficiency cap and growth, or cap and retention. You can retend more if you do other stuff. If you do upgrades, but I want to do growth because that affects more than just a single slot for upgrades. Oh. We got some Japanese fellas down there. Yeah, you, I would want to go with extreme attacking, but we're already unbalanced. And, oh. And uh, the allies are already doing a pretty good number through the rest of the Chinese puppets. Anyways, the Chosen Peninsula, which is in Korea. The Chosen Frozen. The Chosen Peninsula, originally the homeland of the Chosen Dynasty, dynasty has fallen to Japanese hands since 1910. Maybe it's time for us to give them a long-awaited independence. A free nation. Hmm. A puppet go Ooh, puppet government. Oh, I'm definitely not leaving them to the Japanese. This is interesting. I really, really like this event. Free nation? <laughs> you mean a utopian nation. Yeah, that's exactly what you mean. This is perfect. Why isn't this... In is this in base game? I don't think it is. I think this is a part of Road to 56. I love this. And become owner of North and South Korea. Five units rise up in Pyongyang and Seoul. And becomes a, 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 a utopia under us. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. He's part of the Proletariat Mutual Assistance Pact. It's a Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The DPRK. We still have this nation today. I love it. Ah. Oh. This made me happy. This made me so happy. I don't know why. I'm not even... Uh, I love it. I just love it. And they're out... <laughs> and the Japanese soldiers are out of supply now. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, that just warms my heart so much. And the Japanese soldiers here are starving for supplies. Oh, yes. Go ahead and do that. 
and do that. Uh, and actually, make sure you go this way, actually, to make sure that they don't do anything. These divisions are kind of weak, to be honest, but that's okay, seeing as they probably need some guns. I mean, they are rising up. Maybe we can send them some supplies, start some lend lease, give them, um, I'll give you, like, I don't know, 250? We got plenty of fuel here. 31,000 old guns. I'll give you a thousand trucks. These are pretty bad artillery. 2881. 2881. Things of artillery. And maybe a couple pieces of support equipment. I'll give you like a thousand. There you go. See, we're helping people. Great helpers of the world. And I really don't think I need any more soldiers on this side. So, we'll see what happens. If I need more soldiers, I need some more soldiers. But if not, whatever. Oh, wait. Um, actually, before I go through this, most of these soldiers probably don't have artillery. I'm going to get a lot more manpower. And we have lost about 20,000 pieces of artillery just to do that. It's fine, whatever. Nice. Construction 5 is done. We have a state of perpetual warfare, which means people can go to war with us faster, but we can go to war with them faster and we get a lot more political power. And now we can further progress the cult. More research speed, and a little bit more construction speed, and factory output. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, excavation might be good. How much are we excavating for aluminum? We're extracting a ton of aluminum. Holy cow. Uh, we gave up researching stuff for destroyers. I think it's actually probably good to go back. Maybe help them out. Um, active sonar. Yeah, let's do that first. And all of you guys are... Trying to get the right equipment going. It's fine. So be it. So be it, my friends. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. Just make sure we don't actually get cut off here. Ooh. Hopefully we can move our soldiers around so that we can get to a good front line. Um, I, need, I really do need to spend more time on this side of the world than... Uh, Europe, really. Nice. Just go ahead and beat them in if you can. Be, you know, right now, be aggressive. I want to see if we can actually push in at least a little bit to shore up the front line here or something. And we've got plenty of reserves, you know. Plenty of reserves, except for heavy tanks. How is Europe now? Oh, and besides, we have Siam helping us down here anyways. Hmm. Right now, this is kind of interesting. Because we have the People's Republic of Siam... Well, I mean, I guess this is technically Japanese-held... French territory. So that will go back to France anyways. China will have to be a puppet split between me and the Allies. I think that's what's going to happen. have to happen in the end. A split between me and the Allies. Some sort of probably war, Cold War. Oh, Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I love it. I love it so much. But let's go ahead and lower to go to limited exports. So we can use more of our own aluminum. Good, that's good. And can we do anything else? I do still want to relocate stuff, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that so we can build in those locations anyways. Uh, tanks. How are our tanks? They've been doing... Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, you should probably be under him. That's fine. Go ahead and do that. Since you are a tank general, Constantine, you were actually pretty good, even though you lost... All the tanks. For you personally, I think a good area is probably down close to Romania because I have to get across this river. Let's go here. And that'll be our first goal. How's this looking? Our attacks are not going extremely successfully in some places, but in other places they're going okay. I really want the, my guys to attack so that we can at least make sure. That people don't exploit lines or stuff like that. Go ahead and go in. Nikolai, you're okay. Um, yeah. Japan will fall soon enough, though. Oh, the Japanese... Oh, that's a big Japanese Navy. Look at those six Portuguese subs. Holy crap, you just... I just... I didn't get a comment on it, but there was apparently... Uh... Like... 66 Japanese destroyers, and I... I just realized that Japan has some soldiers up here. Mmm, you know what, maybe I could call on the Ra Iranians, 
to borrow their forces for... Never mind, they have one division. I could have called the Baltic States, but they're a little far away. Oh, good, we have an encirclement. Nice, good job, guys. Go ahead and do that. Put them out of their misery. That'll be great. You're doing a great job, guys. I have coffee here. Hmm, <clears throat> pretty good, pretty good. Not bad. Uh, now... Oh, the Mongol United Autonomous Government has capitulated, which is not Mongolia that we killed earlier, but this disgusting, pukey, yellow-green color is the Mongolian thingamabob. Oh, it looks like the Japanese retake Busan. Oh, they're definitely navally invading now. That's not good. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, coast, coast divisions, I'm going to definitely put you on top. And I'm going to need a lot of you guys. Actually, go up to seven. Busan would be good. Uh, come over here. Looks like the UK is over here. Nice. Nikolai Berzin has been injured. Whatever. Uh, what are my casualties like? We've lost 1.67 million. Mostly to the Germans, but a little bit to the Japanese. The Germans have lost over 4 million men to us. And the Japanese have lost about two, a quarter of a million to us. Hmm, not bad. Oh, Siam needs to really make sure that they're not getting invaded from Malaysia. Because that would not be good for them. I still want to focus on Europe so much, though. Do that. Take one of you guys. Come down there. Take half of you guys. Markian, do you have anything? You can become a winter expert, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's not attack over a river. Let's attack this way. And then attack over a river. And then we have our tanks down here. They're not quite ready yet. But they will be ready soon enough. And it doesn't look like we're really winning here. They are still moving their soldiers around. I don't want to stop the attack just yet, though. I want their soldiers to move around so I can actually bait enemies, hopefully, or something. To make sure that they have weaker defenses in certain areas. I want Warsaw. And I might have a good chance of taking it. Come this way. Ace pilot promoted. <clears throat> oh, we might not be able to take Warsaw. Yeah, we probably won't. Just let them continue doing that anyway so that we can feel good about ourselves about doing something. Maybe maybe get Plock. I don't know. Maybe we can't even attack. The German defenses are very strong right now. Incredibly strong. But we might still get Plock so we can defend against a river. Oh, we took Lublin. That's good. Yeah, this attack. Not going so well. Alright, well, so be it. You can't win every battle. Back to Asia. And... Oh, yeah, the Japanese have definitely invaded. I should not have gotten rid of this army. Um. Oh, actually. Go up to 10. Go there. I need you over here, like... I'm gonna auto-deploy them, probably. Yeah. That's what I pretty much gotta do. Come over here. Boris. Oh, yeah, Boris. Get an upgrade, man. You need that. Nice. Helping him out. God dang it. The Japanese are definitely invading Korea. I hate it. Uh. Well, we can always make sure that... We can strike them back again. Factories are doing pretty well. Cool. I need you s three. Be under... Ivan. I need you definitely over here first. And then I need you the other three to meet me in close to Vladivostok. Because the Japanese are definitely invading really quickly down here. Alright, so for you guys, go back to extreme. Go ahead and do that. Oh, Portugal's doing one hell of a job, though. My goodness. They are our ally, and they're doing great in, over here. Active sonar. Good. Uh, actually, let's do this. It takes 230 days, but if we can do that a little faster, then I can just get that equipment on better on our level 3 destroyers. Ooh, IS. Nice. Heavy tanks are large armored monsters, which are designed to destroy enemy tanks and fortifications. Great job, guys. We have 1943 tanks, 1943 heavy tanks. Oh, maybe we get IS-7 for a super heavy. Hmm, 88% reliability. What is the difference between this and the regular IS? So, the super heavy is on the right. One more defense, four more percent hardness, five more heart attack, 15 more armor, same reliability, an insane production cost, slightly slow, well, actually quite a bit slower. It's like infantry. Uh, a little more soft attack, a, quite a bit more breakthrough. Piercing's a little better and uses way more fuel. That's definitely not worth it. 1943. Got that already. Um, Better 
Mechanize might be an okay thing to do. ET, never seen it, but... Tanks, defense, and breakthrough. Aluminum. We might want to get some aluminum industry. Uh, let's get some more resource efficiency gain if we can. Another soldier for the front line in Europe. That's fine with me. Maxime. Very nice meeting you, Maxime. Do we have upgrades? Yes, for heavy tanks. Oh, oh, no, no, yeah. Yeah, give me some more armor. Some more speed. Just, I want the thickest armor known to man. And we have... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't get better main guns. So we can get a little, way more reliability, an extreme amount more armor, hard attack, a little bit more soft attack, slightly, slightly faster, and more piercing. Oh, my God. The ISA. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Just yes. And it looks like the allies are trying another D-Day invasion, but it's going... Actually, not bad. They do have some supply. They have two ports. Not one or zero, but they actually have two ports here. That's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, as the Japanese are invading South Korea, or Southern Korea, we're just walloping them across the entire front. Of course, with the allies' help, but still. Very nice. Go ahead and def... Oh, nah, see, we deploy them early. They're not exactly experienced, but... That's not bad. They already have full strength, so. Oh, don't get surrounded, man. Don't get surrounded. Oh, it's lagging very hard. What's going on? Go ahead and hold. And come up this come up here and do that. I don't think we can actually get Pusan, but at least defend Northern Korea with Pyongyang. And Seoul. I need to defend at least Seoul. Uh let's see, where are you at? Another division for the Western Front, so be it. Okay, are our tanks ready yet? They look pretty good. Uh, where's everyone going? If you want to reform your front line, I'm okay with that. Just don't make it a mess. Mikhail, do you have anything? No? I wish you became an organizer, though. That's what I thought. Cool. Alright, we're going to start attacking with our tanks. I'm going to let the heavy tanks lead. Followed up with some motorized with half of you guys also assisting and sending you through this way. So they can't pierce us. We are, unfortunately, tacking over a river into forts. But with our heavy tanks, we should be able to do at least okay. We have some 40 width motorized division also helping us. And we're not winning. Because they kept adding more divisions. God dang it. That's fine. Well then, we're not attacking there then. And attacking... I didn't know they had forts in this tile. Oh, we should have attacked Stannis to slow. Should have attacked that instead. Oh well. Live and learn. Live and learn. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I want to keep the attacks up on the Germans just so that they don't have ever have a surplus of goods. Could we win here? No, probably not. But what if I told you to attack until you die? We might be able to win then. The threat of death always has consequences. Alright. Cool. Some more refineries. Oh, see, we moved the things out of Moscow, and we can build more in there. Ingenious. And, yeah, keep building. Just keep building. Hmm. Six. Levo. I really don't think we can take this. But I'm going to try. Yeah, and I don't even have any more force attack button. Yeah, we're not going to be able to win here. Oh, well. Oh, Yunnan Free Empire died. Hungary demands Southern Slovakia. Oh, well, okay. Hungary's pretty thick. But not as thick as it could be. Chinese Empire is capitulated. Great. Disperse Industry 5. Slovakia returns Slovakia. Okay, then. More fuel gain, I suppose. And Japanese held territory on mainland China is rapidly falling apart. And I love every second of this. Oh, yeah, the Japanese, they just can't compete. At this point, just go ahead down there. And you, come over here. Cool. Oh, you're already an infantry expert. Good job, Ivan. Ivan. Uh, you know, I, I needed soldiers earlier, but I think on our f European front, we're doing mostly fine. Uh, we're trying to uh, still attack this area. Okay, so we're not going to be able to win, so be it. 
Uh, German casualties, not bad. We've suffered over 2 million now at this point. Great. Go ahead and start building some mm, Toad. Wait, do we want Toad rocket artillery or motorized rocket artillery? You know, I was going to say, why not both? But there's only so much room you can do for stuff. Toad. Huh. Wow, semi-modern rocket? Which one is better? This gives you 30 more. Soft attack. And, of course, upgrades will all help. Motorized rocket artillery. Oh, it's right. God dang it, I did the wrong one. That says 36. I researched the wrong thing. Hold on here. Instead of rocket artillery upgrade, we're just going to go with this one. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Unfulfilled... Oh, Thailand. Thailand. Siam. Man, come on. Oh, but we can help get some stuff from the Raj. Cool. And let's see. Any upgrades for that destroyer? Uh, 1940s. Definitely have to do more with torpedoes, because, oh, these are just pathetic. How about depth charges? Oh, we got better depth charges. That's good. We got that already. Anti-air 3. That's good. Alright, that's not bad. Actually, I don't mind making these, then. You make one of those. When you're done, make them in Leningrad. That's good. That's really good. Making two... 1940s battleships and then some destroyers as well. Uh, resistance to occupation. Oh, China. Oh, whatever. Cool. Very nice. We're doing pretty well. It just takes a while to move the front line. Uh, but this. Oh, they actually want to give me some. Uh oh, am I out of guns? I might actually be out of guns. Yeah, I'm out of guns. Um, I need guns. Hello, guns. Yeah, don't do that. Military factories. Cool, yeah. No problem. So, I can't attack then if we don't have guns. So be it. Whatever. I made a slight mistake. Ace generation chance. Air superiority mission efficiency. Fighter agility, though. Yeah, I don't use medium bomber strategic bombing or strategic bombing. As much as I love air superiority... Agility is really good, as well as escort efficiency and interception mission efficiency. So let's do that. Layered defense formation. Yeah, can the allies actually do D-Day? Because we're kind of at a standstill here. But I don't mind trying to... Ah, uh, this is still over a river, god dang it. I mean, we can pierce the enemy's armor fine. I'm not worried about that. But, man. Actually, let's give our tanks a boost. Because I want them to hit extremely hard our strength is slowly whittling away <clears throat> against the enemy who does have air superiority who has an insane defense holy crap but we might not win here we might win oh uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna win here attacking over river is always such a problem oh well we got another heavy tank though Manchuko has capitulated further the progress cult is finished I will take that. Uh, aviation Colt might be actually really good to do since next year is 1944. A gun in every hand to produce more stuff. We get less reliability. We get less army XP, but we get less division training time, which is pretty good. Uh, let's go with Aviation Colt, because that could be used early, early on by next year. And this is really reducing the strength of our heavy tanks. Yeah, this might not have been worth it for the cost that of our tank divisions. Yeah, it's not worth it. I gotta move them somewhere else. Heavy tanks, I love you guys so much, but... We're gonna have to put you somewhere else. Attacking over river is just so deadly. Just too deadly. And I'll honestly... Oh, another tank division. Cool. And now we have a deficit of... Quite a few tanks. God dang it. Streamline line, though. That always helps. Hmm. Support companies. More maintenance companies. Cool. Look at all these stragglers here. Ah, oh, I love it. Do that, do that, do that. Oh, it's so good. Nice. Machuco has fallen. Um, can't seize Manchuko yet. I mean, we basically already have it. 
So, no point for that. This area has been fully taken over. Great. Send you guys immediately this way. And send you this way. I hope that did it. Oh, I did. Cool. Very nice. But you go is slowly getting swallowed up by us. And you guys come this way too. Sure, we'll take some guns. Could definitely use some guns. Yeah, the eastern, the western front, the European front is just at a standstill. I can't do anything, at least for now, which really, really sucks. I really wanted to do more around here, but you know, you can only do so much at times. But it could be much worse. We definitely have taken territory away from the Germans that uh, was originally part of Poland. So we definitely pushed pretty darn well. We've almost taken back all the territory that we lost against the Germans as they are attacking us. See, even with their tank divisions. Where is that? They're, they're dying so hard. They attack. That means we can, might be able to exploit something. I know we're out of guns. I know we might be able to do something. They're really, really incredibly weak though. Uh, yeah, these divisions are extremely weak. Send the Mountaineers this time. We might be able, actually, to... Oh, we did it. Nice. These guys are extremely weak as well, and that means you guys can come down here, too. Uh, I got quite a few divisions that way. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Cool. Anti-fascist bond. Silence interesting. Improved worker conditions. We are only 51% communist, but that's okay for now. Oh, ship designer. I really like ship designers. Um, if anyone could help us here, recovery rate might be okay. But eh, we can use it for better things. Planes. I use heavy fighters and medium bombers both. So more reliability could always help. Let's do that. We will get more research speed. They're attacking us quite a bit. Nice. Honestly, I think that's pretty much where we're going to leave it here today. Obviously, we haven't gotten very far at all on the European front, but, you know, it could be a lot worse. I mean, we actually were pretty darn successful this time in Asia. Surprise, surprise. I mean, we found a new ally. We capitulated Manchuko. We have basically liberated half of this area. And, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Manchuko's, go Manchuko's gone. Korea's with us. Portugal has gone absolutely ham in China. And Japanese held China overall is pretty much almost all destroyed but with that in mind that's all the time for that we have today so guys hope you enjoy this episode hope you leave a like subscribe if you're new and i will probably actually go over tomorrow what i've been thinking about just maybe a short video about if i do anything for getting 500 subscribers but until then thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow